Dinosaur World, Jurassic World Evolution 2, is an exciting game simulator that shows the life of ancient dinosaurs. George Lambert deals with security. And considering all that entails, he often has his hands full. With claws and teeth and, uh, tails. The minus. I think it puts some of those arguments to rest. In this video, we will see 46 dinosaurs herbivore, 25 dinosaurs carnivore. In the video, the habits of wild animals in nature are clearly visible. Enjoy watching and be sure to subscribe. Talk about the opposite of subtle. And I don't mean Owen. No, this is the Chasmosaurus. It has dynamic coloring and these large openings, called fenestrae, in a frill that rises above its head. This is a dinosaur that says, look at me. First discovered in China, the Chunkingosaurus has distinctive twin plates that run along its back, and it can swing its spiked tail called a thagomizer like a massive medieval mace. This is a dinosaur best observed at a distance. Crichtonsaurus, named after the author Michael Crichton, famous for his stories about infectious viruses, sentient nanobots, and also a novel on ancient animals, which I quite enjoyed. This is a social dinosaur that does well in groups. This dinosaur, the Draco Rex, is something strange. Its name means the Dragon King of a fictional school for wizards. I think I could have come up with that myself. The name, not the dinosaur. For that, we need the scientists. This animal's primary habitat was the ancient primordial forest that once covered this planet. It's called Dryosaurus. Before our research, there was no information on adult specimens of this dinosaur. We only had the fossilized record of juveniles. This is a Euaplocephalus, an herbivore and relatively harmless dinosaur, as long as you stay out of the way of the heavy club on its tail. If it swings that your way, you could be relatively finished. Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take, for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallimimus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That alone isn't the problem. But the speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast. 
which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. Chinese isn't very good. Okay, I don't speak it at all, but let me give this one a try. Wyangasaurus. Nailed it, I think. Anywho, this is a type of stegosaur that was first discovered in the Sichuan province of China. It's a popular species with our guests and with crossword puzzle creators. <laughs> Kentrosaurus is another of those spiky-backed dinosaurs. A dinosaur that relied on intimidation to keep the predators at bay. And failing that, a difficult meal to catch and chew. Think of it as a prehistoric porcupine. Here is a Notosaurus. This dinosaur tends to be shy and likes to keep to itself. And it has a thick skin. Sort of the opposite of Owen. Cephalosaurus, or thick-headed lizard in Greek, which is where it gets its name. Claire has accused me of being this dinosaur more than a few times. It's also an herbivore, so obviously she couldn't be more wrong. About me, I mean. gigant Spinosaurus you have here doesn't quite live up to its name. Don't get me wrong, it's big, but manageable. Just watch out for those shoulder blades. They do in anyone's day. This flat-headed dinosaur, the Homolocephaly, can appear unassuming and perhaps even cute.
This is the Polacanthus, and it's covered in armor plates and spikes. Mess with this animal at your own risk. Interested in a dinosaur with an extremely long tail? Then this dinosaur is for you. It's called the Sauropelt. Covered in bony armor, it has long spines projecting from its neck. All that being said, it is a relatively calm animal when placed in the right environment. Look at an ostrich or emu, then look at this latest dinosaur, the Struthiomimus, and tell me you don't see a connection. This is one of the more bird-like dinosaurs that we've brought back from extinction. It literally has a beak instead of teeth. It's an herbivore that prefers to move in herds. Overall, a fantastic addition to the park. This is the Stiggy Molly, and it is one hard-headed dinosaur. It has an armored dome crowned by horns. Despite this, it's a social and relatively docile animal, unless threatened. Then steer well clear of it. This dinosaur can do a number on its enclosures and bash its way through any number of obstacles. Take that into consideration when you're planning its environment. say fences make good neighbors. I say without them, dinosaurs like this one, the Pachyrhinosaurus, shouldn't be in the park. This animal is built like a tank, and it has the personality to match. This is Owen Grady. He's an animal behaviorist that specializes in training velociraptors. Which means that he's a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Determined? I say that with all respect, of course. This dinosaur, Styracosaurus, has huge horns and a large spike similar to a rhinoceros.
hear the word Mega, you know you're dealing with something significant. And the Megalosaurus is no different. This meat-eating theropod dominates any environment it finds itself in. While that's an admirable survival trait, it's also one that we cannot accept here at the park. I want to make that clear. The Indoraptor. This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor. But I don't know. Is it dangerous? Yes. But then so is silence. successfully introduced a new dinosaur, a Proceratosaurus. This animal is instantly recognizable by the colorful breast on its snout. While it's smaller in stature than some of the other predators, it is not a dinosaur to be taken lightly, let me tell you. Changesaurus. Neat. Really great that we're bringing back all these fast, hungry predators. Even better that I get to stay in the office with locks on the doors. <laughs> you to the Metria Canthosaurus. Say that fast three times. This is another alpha predator that, while not as big as some of its cousins, tends to stand more upright. So I guess it has good posture while it's tearing you to shreds.
personally, I don't think the Troodon gets as much respect as it should. It's one of those dinosaurs that seems like an evolutionary bridge, stuck in time and transition. The platypus of its day. And now, ours. It's also incredibly interesting to study and display. So make the most of this animal. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Jungasaurus that can really be a handful. It's short, stocky, and lives for the hunt. This is also one of the only dinosaurs we know of that may have engaged in cannibalistic behavior. Nothing like having your friends over for dinner. Stay with me. This dinosaur is called a Carcharodontosaurus. Talk about a mouthful, right? And seeing that this animal is an alpha predator, its mouth is usually full of the slow, the weak, and the inattentive. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm not getting near it. You, on the other hand, Now, what we have here is a Herrerasaurus. It's a carnivore and a spectacular addition to our dinosaurs. It just requires a little TLC. his predator immediately by the horns on its head, which give it a real rock and roll appearance. Those powerful legs can get this dinosaur moving as well, so probably best to stay out of its way.
This is the Albertosaurus, so named because it was first discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta. This animal is a smart predator that relies on its rows of sharp teeth. They exhibit pack behavior, which is very exciting to witness, as long as you're doing so from a safe distance. This dinosaur is something special. Well, they're all something special, but this one stands out because of the horns on top of its head. It's called Ceratosaurus. It kind of looks like a slightly smaller T-Rex, but its bite is probably about the same. This dinosaur is one of the earliest known animals, dating back to perhaps 216 million years ago. It's called Coelophysis. Their remains can be found scattered across the globe. But if people want to see a Coelophysis up close, this is the only place to do it. Consignathus is a small predator, but don't let its stature fool you. It can be a ruthless hunter. This is a Cryolophosaurus, one of the more colorful members of the collection. It's a carnivore. So take the necessary precautions, and don't let its looks deceive you. This dinosaur is important for a number of reasons. I mean, they're all important, but this one, the Deinonychus, was the center of debate among paleontologists for many years. Specifically, were the dinosaurs cold-blooded or warm-blooded animals? With them alive and in the park, we have our answer. <laughs> This dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus, has a distinctive neck frill it can expand when it senses danger. It's also been known to spit into the eyes of its prey, blinding it before it goes in for the kill. Use this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the T-Rex. They look similar, act similar, and both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working for them. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, you find yourself running from this biggie, you've already made a fatal mistake. 